Welcome Aries. We're going to be looking at what is going on for you and how you may need help at this time using divine directions. Uh, also, ancestors and angel oracle cards and the light seers tarot. Okay, so let's get stuck into it, shall we, Aries? Okay, so give me three cards for Aries, please. Beginning with divine directions. Three cards for Aries. First card, friends. Spend more time with your friends. Share your thoughts with someone who understands you. The other card that's jumped out here is decide. Mm, that's so funny because when I was prepping your cards, I was wondering if there was a decision that you needed to make. So that's interesting that's, that's come up. So we've got friends here, decide, and another one that's flipped over, and I'll have a look at that in a tick. Okay, so it's time for you to make a decision. Call upon your spirit guides for help. Mm -hmm. That's great. And guides. Look at this. I love this. Your spirit guides are there to help you communicate with your guides today. So um, it could be a good idea to find some sort of meditation on um, YouTube that helps you connect with your guides if you haven't done that already. Um, if you have connected with your guides before, make sure that you're doing that regularly, every day if possible, okay? Because um, I think it's really important to um, do that. I, I feel like, I'm just thinking about when I do it, how does that feel, you know, and, and it just feels like there's more clarity and I feel more sure about the information that is coming through and um, and I think you also feel more a bit more confident, well at least I do anyway, because I know that they're there, they've got my back, I've got the support that I need and they're not going anywhere, okay, um, so yeah. So, you know, and talking to your friends as well. So you've got a couple of avenues there that you can call on in order to help you with whatever decision you need to make here, Aries. Okay, so give me... Okay, I think we'll just go one card for Aries to begin with. Thank you. Oh, we've got two, but that's... Oh, no, we've got three. That's okay. I liked the way they jumped out. So a mountains. We've got mountains here. Standing your ground. Okay, it's really interesting because I am feeling like with this card, Aries, that there's sort of this feeling of needing to stand solid in whatever it is that you believe in. And this could be to do with this decision, right? That um, when you make that decision that you stand in the power of having made that that uh, so that you don't doubt yourself um, and I would say that to this to you Aries when you are trying to make this decision imagine yourself so say you've got two options imagine yourself having made one decision and living that decision how does that feel to you stand in the power of that and then do the same with the other decision and just feel out which one feels best for you and see what you think okay because I feel as though that's going to help you okay um the other thing with this mountains is there's a lot more to the situation than what is seen and um I feel like it's very important for you to dig down deep it's kind of like this is what needs to happen is you need to dig deep for this one okay and the other thing I want to say about that is if there are people around you judging you for the decision that you have made they don't know the full story okay and I think it's very important for you to um this is why friends surrounding yourself with people who understand you it's important for you to have those people around you at this time Aries because you're gonna you 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 really need that you need people who do understand you 
not people who are going to stand there and argue with you and um, maybe put you down for whatever it is you've decided or not back you up or not lift you up, you know. And so because, you know, like I say, not everyone knows the full story and they all don't know the full situation. So I think it's really important for you to stand solid stand solid um the other thing i'm seeing with these mountains is whatever journey you're going on aries there's going to be um easy parts and there's going to be hard, hard parts so always remember that when making your decision because you know not everything is foreseen and we don't know what is to come so just make sure that you are you know making a decision based with that knowledge because you may see one as easy easier than the other but that's because you can't see the full picture yet okay so let's have a look tell me more about mountains here please for Aries tell me more about mountains for Aries please No, one, I'll just use this card to begin with. Five of Cups, okay. So um, I just wonder if you're having trouble deciding here, Aries, because when you've made decisions in the past, maybe things haven't worked out so well. But what I really would like you to look at here is that you actually um, did learn some things from whatever went on. And, um, and so focus on that rather than what didn't work out focus on what did work out and what you did learn okay we also have the magician here and um and i feel like this here is about you now being um you know drawing on all the experiences that, that you have had to conjure up this new experience that you're about to have because obviously when there's a decision needing to be made you're ready to go on a new path okay, and have new experiences, so because you've learned so much Aries already, you can now utilize all that knowledge to help with this decision, okay, um, and, and also you can use that to help create whatever it is you're going to create, because don't forget that you are the creator of your own life, you create your own reality, so how do you want that to be how what do you want that to look like yeah so this is really important for you to actually um take all that into account okay and really see the big picture here okay so we have earth guardian stay rooted and grounded i like this i really think this is important for you in making this decision right now um I also feel like it's important for you to make a plan, okay, and um, understand that during this time of needing to stay grounded and keeping two feet on the ground and being focused, there's a time for being grounded and there's a time to fly. And if you think of, say, a bird that has been born and it needs to learn to use its wings. The, the first thing it does is not jump out of the tree and start flying, right? It gets fed. It's in the tree. It's surrounded by nature. It's getting nurtured. And, um, and slowly but surely, it learns to spread its wings and fly. So this is the other thing with this decision, Aries, is understand that there's a beginning process. Okay, so... Be patient is what I want to say here. And give yourself the nurturing and the patience that you actually need. Okay. Um, I also feel as though there's a sense of not really... Well, no, sorry. Let me start that again. I think you need to be aware of not rushing a decision. Um I mean, obviously, don't procrastinate either, but don't make a decision just for the sake of making a decision. Really take it, these things into account, okay? Um, yeah, see, Eight of Wands here. 
um, once you do make this decision, things will start to happen. But I do feel like there's this need not to rush, okay? Um, next card, four. Okay. Five of swords. Yes, getting in your head about it. Right? Um, really not sure. But this is where you're grounding yourself, Aries, is important. And, um, and because it is weighing heavy on your mind, I feel like some of you just want to make the decision to get it over and done with because you're like, I'm so tired of this. Like, let's just get it over and done with already. But there's other things that need to be taken into account. And, and it's really important for that to occur. Okay. Um, we've got White Witch. Be the light. Oh, I love this card. This is about you leading here, Aries. This is about drawing on internal wisdom. And this could be, like I was saying before, um, and interestingly enough, this has come under guides as well, which I really love. You know, what, the thing is that we have our guides that can support us, but I think it's very important to remember that we can be powerful in that as well. Um, and... I feel like it's really important this okay 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 sorry Aries grounding yourself Aries is going to help you to be sure and solid in what it is that you decide okay because there's this air of um wisdom here obviously with the owl but even in this person here she looks very sure about what uh, direction she's heading in and um, she has no doubt about it. She's taking with her the things that she knows that from being grounded, she's immersed herself in the earth and she's had these leaves and even the owl has got its little antlers there. And, you know, this is what she has gathered along the way to take with her on her journey. She's got her berries, you know, even her energy is such that a butterfly will come around her. And she's got an owl here with her. She has become one with nature. And I feel like this is saying here, for you to become one with, um, with yourself, with your guides, with nature, to really immerse yourself in that. If just for a moment you can let this decision or whatever, all these things that are on your mind right now, let those go, Aries. And... Just immerse yourself, okay? And I feel like you're going to come back clearer with that. I, I feel as though it will also help you to tap into your internal guidance system a lot easier. And um, Yeah, because there's something that is going to grow. Something that I feel is going to be quite successful for you. And it's actually, once you make that decision, Aries, you, this is why I think it's important for you to take your time making the decision. Because once you do make that decision, you want to be solid in that, um, in that direction that you're going in okay, to make it successful. Because if you're going through that with doubts, oh, should I have done this? Should I have gone that other way? Then it's going to um, weaken the momentum, okay? So once you make that decision, be sh you know, don't go back and go, oh, wish I had have decided this. Yep, see, this person has made the decision to go, do you know what? I'm not going that way anymore. I'm going this way now. And they're walking away, sure as anything. They know what they're after. They've made the plan and they're off. Okay, and that's what I feel like you need to do. I feel like you need to be solid in that. And I feel as though this is where this magician comes in as well, that you're really taking everything into consideration and why, why you want to actually go in the direction you want to go in and 
hold on to that. Make sure that is very clear for you so that on the, in those hard times, you're not doubting why you went in that direction. Okay. One more card for, what is it? <laughs> White Witch. You know, and two, the light is, um, you know, being the light, it reminds me of the Hermit, actually, in that, you know, your internal light can guide the way and having faith in that, okay? Um, yeah, look at this, King of Cups, see? He he has, has that energy about him, yeah? He absolutely knows, um, without a doubt, which direction is the best for him. He has no um, qualms about anything because he knows what's in his heart. And this is the thing, I think. It really is about coming into this heart space, coming down from the head and into the heart, you know, and I feel like this is what this is telling you so that you can move forward with confidence, okay? Um, yeah, really important for you. Okay, so next card for Aries, please. And the other thing with the King of Cups and even the Eight of Cups, there's this energy of, you know, um, the solidness of the of them walking their journey, and. Um, It's kind of like they're not affected by what everyone else will think or say. And I love that. I love that. And I feel as though, Aries, this is this confidence that you need right now. We've got this Lord come out. I want to get the other two cards before I just... Well, that almost came out. Before I start with these for some reason. That's that one. Don't know what that is yet. And... One more. One more for Aries. This Lord card says take charge with authority. <laughs> I love that. And the thing too, Aries, is that's that's your energy as well. You know, you can do that. So it's interesting to me that you are actually, that's three cards, that you are, I'll get the well, last one in a minute, that there's this, um, doubt within you although although I have to say that that can be normal with anything and you know maybe you want to get to this place to um so that you can move forward with confidence you know um but this is the thing I feel as though especially like with this king of cups here is really going in and, and meditating again on, on whatever option you have, okay, so that when you come to make this decision, this is totally your card here, Aries, totally your card. Whenever you make that decision, um, you are standing in your power, man, in such a way, because this actually reminds me of the Emperor card, of, you know, the Emperor, he owns a freaking empire, he runs an empire. He knows how to do this. And this is this energy that um, I feel is something that you can step into. But, you know, maybe this is about you going on that journey to step into that energy, Aries. Yeah, see, this Five of Wands here. This is f fighting. I'm just wondering if this is an internal battle or external Could be fighting for an empire so to speak but here's the thing right you have a look at his energy here and you see this petty battling going on here right this he he is not rocked by this at all he doesn't you know this doesn't rock him even the king of cups here he does they don't get rocked by this sort of thing you know these guys are setting fire to this thing here she is walking away. She's like, meh, dude, if that's what you want to do, 
go for it because I know where I'm going and I know what I'm about, you know, and um, yeah, it's it's this, this sort of struggle to get to the top in a sense. So whether this is at work, could be even be at work um, or in a relationship where there's like, you know, someone has to be right. It's kind of like sometimes letting that go and just going, what is the best thing to do here? You know, it's not always about who's right and who's wrong and, you know, proving someone else wrong or whatever. It's actually about what is the best thing for all parties to, you know, the best thing to do for all parties that's going to help everyone, you know. Um, what's we? How do we get to this win-win situation here? Okay, so next card for Lord, please. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. How can we make this grow? How can we grow this into something successful? Something that's going to last a really long time and be fruitful for us. How can we actually do this, right? Using your internal wisdom to bring that forward. And this is where you can sit down with your friends and brainstorm. You know, there's this thing here. I don't know what to do. Help me nut it out, you know. So the next card we have here is spring. Yeah, see your seeds grow. You know, planting these seeds. And this is the thing here, Aries. What is it that you want to grow? Do you want to grow some lavender? Do you want to grow some berries? Do you want to grow everything? That's, you know, do you want to grow all herbs? Do you want to grow all fruit? You know, like, what are the seeds that you want to grow? See your seeds grow. And um, and I think, too, when you're looking at this, this is, and I feel like I'm always repeating this, but it always comes up for a reason, is to remind yourself, what are you thinking? Because your thoughts are the seeds that you plant. You know, so this is important to be very aware of this, Aries. And... Um, because if you want to get to this, but you're you're kind of having these petty, petty battles with people, or this is going on in your mind, how do you ever get to that? Because what you're actually going to grow is fire. You know, and I know that for you, being the fire sign, I think it's important for you to use the fire for good, to use the fire to keep you warm, to really look at your resources and how can the, how they can be utilized for the best purpose rather than a petty purpose okay and also seeing that with people around you too how are they behaving what is that reflecting and what do you want to buy into okay because you don't have to buy into anyone's rubbish right it's up to you whether you do or not Okay, so we've got the Nine of Cups here. This is what, see, this is, see your seeds grow. This is what your seeds can grow into. This is what you can grow here. And I think it is just because this is falling down underneath this decision card here. Decide, right? It's time for you to make a decision. Call upon your guides to help. Okay, so this is about you planting these seeds that are going to make all your dreams come true okay but again be careful what you wish for because if you're doing that in the meantime and hoping out someone else's forest burns down karma Aries karma is a, a real thing and whatever you wish for someone else it it doesn't hit on them the karma circle belongs purely to us so if you're projecting something out to someone, it's going to ricochet off the walls that surround you in your karma circle, and it's going to come back at you. Always be mindful of that. Okay. I know that karma can be seen as a different thing and that it gets directed to the people, but it's not. It comes back at us and it hits us hard. <laughs> okay. So we've got the two of swords here. Yep. See, this is you in your mind, not sure what to do. And... Um, there's this sense of, of this feeling a little bit helpless, but you're not helpless. It's like, oh, I don't know what to do. Like, I, I need some help, you know, but you just slip the blindfold off and then you can see where you can get away from these crows, right? Um, 
and, and the crow is being representative of your thoughts, okay? So it's kind of like these thoughts are swirling around and around in your head, like, should I go this way? Should I go that way? I don't know what to do. I can't see which way to go. But if this is your vision here, right? If this is your vision, then you kind of sit down again, right? You make the plan and you start from the end result. You start from the end here and go, okay, so how, how in my vision, how did I get here? And sit down with your guides purposefully and work out step by step going backwards as to how you can get there. So you know where to start. Some things you're not going to know, and that's okay. Some steps aren't going to be clear, or some things may change along the way, and that's also okay. But sitting down and working out a plan as to how you can move forward, okay, is very important for you right now. Okay, um, yeah, and I think this is why sitting down with friends, people who understand you, people you trust, um, so that they can again direct you in the right direction they've got your best interests at heart and they're going to be your cheerleaders okay and also be your cheerleader call on your guides to cheer you on too you know and um, know that you can get to that um, it's just planting those seeds that um, planting the right seeds okay so is it one card no that's two we only want one card here Okay, so one card for Aries, please. Yes, here we go. Shaolin, Shaolin, Master. Be graceful in movement and action. Oh, I love this. Oh, yes, Aries, be graceful with it. Every step you take, be graceful and purposeful. You know, this is where this not rushing in is really important for you so that you can gracefully take every step forward um, because I, I feel like this movement needs to be thoughtful, definitely thoughtful, okay? And um, because <clears throat> this master here, he's not going to make a movement that's going to impact this golden ball here, nor the praying mantis, He's going, they're going to be able to always balance on him. And he's fully aware of his movement. He's connected in so much that he knows. He feels his hand going through the air and he knows exactly what this movement is doing. Yeah, so this is important, incredibly important for you, Aries. What movement are you making and why are you doing it and how can you do that gracefully and have you tapped in and tuned in to this next step, right? And remembering always to rise above, I feel. Okay, rise above. Here we go, the emperor. I love this. Yes, Aries. Yes, 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 yes. Here you are, the under the Shalin master. And the emperor, this is powerful. Whoa. And this is under your guides. So you may have one of these masters as your guide even. Right? I have a feeling that you're supported right now because our guides can change as we go along different journeys. So I'm just wondering if you've got this new set of guides coming forward um, for, to, to help you along the way. And... Um, uh, yeah, I think it's really important for you to connect with them, okay, so that you can move through this very gracefully, um, and you will, I feel you will, okay, now one more card for Shalin Master, please, one more card, the wheel, yes, this is you on top of the wheel here, you know. And remember though, Aries, the wheel is always turning. Sometimes we're down the bottom, sometimes we're at the top. It doesn't stop turning, okay. And um, and I feel like this is this is you on top, and this is the result of you doing this. Um, you know, actually walking this journey in this way is that you're going to get to the successful time, okay. Um. 
yeah, this is awesome, Aries. I absolutely adore this for you, and I'm really excited for you. Um, so yeah, Aries, definitely tap in with these guides because, like I say, there's a new um, set of guides, two or three, coming forward to work with you. You've got your main one who's always there with you throughout the, your life. But you've got these two or three other guides coming in to work with you. So make sure you're connected with them. Make sure you're grounding yourself and connecting with your friends, okay? Um, so yeah, good luck with that, Aries. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.